author of the Lean Media book, blog, and video channel available from leanmedia.org. Today I'm going to be comparing uh, video creation tools, specifically very simple ones, Adobe Premiere Rush versus Canva video creation. Um, if this video helps you, please take a moment to like the video and subscribe to my channel. And disclaimer, you're responsible for following relevant terms and your experience may be different than what I show you. So let's start with Adobe Premiere Rush. And let's go to the home page here for Adobe Premiere Rush. So Adobe Premiere Rush, this is a subscription-based video editor. It's a very simple, sim simply featured one. I think um, Adobe Premiere, which is like a serious, you know, TV quality editing tool, it's a bit much for a lot of home users or social media creators who just want a simple tool for making um, videos. And that's exactly what this thing does. These videos right here, I've uh, the top four here, I've created these videos using footage from my phone as well as uh, screencasts, just basically drop it into the tool uh, to make these videos. And actually, let's go to this one right here. Um, a couple things to point out here. I'm not gonna give a review of the tool. I'm just gonna highlight some of the features which I thought were pretty helpful. One thing I really like about this tool is it's a timeline style tool. Uh, when I say timeline, you have the whole timeline laid out here. It goes to about a minute. And you can see I've dropped in different clips. Okay, so I have three or four different clips right here. It keeps on going on and on and on. Um, I've added transitions to the clips. And let's see what one of the transitions looks like. I'm going to play this. I don't know if you're going to hear the audio, but look look at the video and see the transition. Google Docs. It's really easy. This tip works with a web browser in Windows, Mac OS, or Chromebook. I recommend using Google's Chrome browser, which works best with Google. So I don't know if you saw that, but between each one of these video clips, there was a little transition, like a little fade. And uh, in the upper right corner, you'll see all these different tools. One is for adding, adding text. One is for adding things like transitions. And that transition that I use is called dissolve. So if I have two clips next to each other, I click dissolve. It will basically create a transition between them where it's dissolving from one to the other. You can also do things like wipe right, wipe up, wipe down. Uh, bouncing things, all kinds of different ones. You can use pan and zoom features. This is kind of like the Ken Burns effect, um, you know, zooming in on a still picture. You can drop still pictures in here, and I've done that. That's been pretty effective too if you don't have a video of a certain thing. One of the great things I really like about this tool are, are actually the audio features. Um, so this, so y audio you can see is down here on, and this kind of below it. Um, you can see I have multiple channels of audio going on. Like this one is just the sound of me typing. Um, and then, actually, let's show what that looks like. So I'm going to mute this one. And I'm just going to play the, the sound of me typing. Maybe I don't know if you can hear it, but let's see if, if you can. Yeah, it's too quiet. But I just raised the volume, okay? So um, one thing I like to do actually is if I have a video with audio in it, I like to separate the audio sometimes. So then I can uh, either put some background noise or maybe I can use a different narration that I record separately. You can record directly from um, Adobe Premiere Rush or you can import an audio track. And importing is basically a matter of clicking plus and then selecting the uh, what you wanna use there. So I've done things like adding pictures or video clips a voice I've done a voiceover directly from the program but you can do things also like adding graphics like if you have a logo or audio other types of audio like music if you have that so this is a pretty powerful tool for creating kind of standard style videos uh, that you might see like on YouTube or something like that or maybe even social media now let's go take a look at Canva Canva is a completely different animal for creating video there's some things I like about it a lot uh, including some of the templates that they have um, that make it easy to get started. There's a couple things that I think are not as powerful as Adobe Premiere Rush. And let's uh, show you what I'm talking about. So here is a presentation that I created. Um, and the way that the way that Canva works is actually you can create uh, like a like a like a I don't know like a flyer or something like that. And if you want to, you can drop a video into the flyer, and then the flyer becomes a video. Uh, that's kind of one way of looking at things. So basically what I did is I took a template of a presentation and then I turned it, I liked the way the animations worked on it and then I turned it into my own video. So I used this template and then I just switched out the text and dropped in my own video. I added my own audio and the way that this works is you go to, um, where is it? Uploads. This is your own media. You can either upload new stuff yourself or if you've already d added stuff, you can just grab it and then just kind of drag it in, okay? 
that, that that's that, that's the way it works. Um, the one thing that this does not have is, is you'll notice it doesn't have a timeline. It just has the different presentation screens. So you can see I switched the presentations, the, the screens, the, the basically the design of each uh, presentation screen. And instead of having a timeline, however long the video is for that, you can see this is 4.1 seconds. That will be how long that particular clip is. You can clip the video. I can I can uh, I just clip the the scissors icon and I can drag this back and forth to make it shorter or longer. Okay, um, one thing that uh, is di way different between Canva and the Adobe Premiere Rush is like, for instance, if I wanted to, like in Adobe Premiere Rush, I have these clips here. I could take all of these clips and I could do the same thing. I could just basically arrange it the same way in Canva. However, one thing I cannot do in Canva that I discovered is you cannot, you cannot take small audio clips like this two second clip and drop it in here. The reason is, is if you, First of all, Canva, you can only add one audio clip or one audio recording to each video or presentation or whatever you're, whatever you're creating. If the audio is shorter than the video, the audio will loop. It will start to play over and over and over again. There's no way to turn that off. I think they did this because people oftentimes they use music and they want it to loop throughout the whole thing. But if you're doing a narration, that doesn't work. So that is one drawback. And actually, when I discovered that, I actually had to go in and record a full length version of this particular um, audio narration and then just drop the whole thing in. One thing, however, I do want to say that I do like better about Canva than Adobe Premiere Rush is the fact that you can kind of drag in a an element. Elements in Canva, these are like shapes and things like that. So what I've been doing is I've been dragging in these grids, like this one with three. I drop it in here. Actually, the one I used had four. I don't remember which one it was. It was one of these with oh, this one right here. Okay, and then I just I just go to my videos, and then I just drag the videos in. These are actually um, I think stock art, but I, I have my own uploads. I had my own videos, and I just drag them in there. Um, this looks really great. So I have four different videos running in each one of these, these each one of these screens, and it just looks fantastic. Actually, let's see if we can take a look at it right now. Tired of hunting for, for Google help and how videos? Google cheat sheets from In 30 Minutes Guides can help. For instance, do you want to convert your Microsoft Office files to Google applications or vice versa? In 30 Minutes Cheat Sheets explain how to do it step by step. So I'm not going to play the whole video. One reason is is because it's a little bit jittery in the in the preview mode. What I usually do is I just download the thing and then I open it up in another program. But I, I've created videos in both Canva and in Adobe Premiere Rush. Both of them are very useful tools. I think if you're just getting started and you've never used a video editor before, Canva is probably a better choice. If, however, you're experienced with using video and you like, or you like doing a kind of more sophisticated stuff with with audio, I think Adobe Premiere Rush is the is the is the is the choice that you should you should uh, you should go with. Um, two things on pricing: both of these are subscription plans. Adobe Premiere Rush is more expensive. But I think the feature set is a bit more extensive. Um, Canva is great, though, if you already have Canva. It's so easy to get started. You can play around with it. And I do recommend some really good videos about how to use Canva for video design. It's on uh, the Canva YouTube channel or the Canva Designers YouTube channel. They're really, really good. And that's what I watch in order to get started with that. For more tips on how to get the most out of your e-commerce store, DTC, media creation. I have a website called leemedia.org. Go to leemedia.org, click on video to see my YouTube channel. Uh, also, if you're watching YouTube right now, if you could subscribe to my channel or like this video, I would be very grateful. Uh, this is Ian Lamont signing off. Thank you so much for watching.